I survived 200 days in Minecraft Hardcore. If you haven't seen the first 100 days, be sure to check it out. I just want to say a big thank you to all the support on the first video. You guys really wanted a part two, so I made one. This time I had four goals. One, defeat the wither. Not one wither, not two withers, but three withers at the same time. Two, obtain the elytra, because I really wanted to fly around my world. Three, get the token of undying. Probably one of the best items you can get in hardcore. Four, I wanted to get myself a beacon. Probably one of the most useful items in the game. So if you guys do enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe. My goal is to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And with that said, let the 200 days begin. Stay 100. I had a lot of levels left over after killing the Ender Dragon, so what I decided to do was enchant my tools and armor. The good thing is, I got myself a Fortune 3 pickaxe. And then I just enchanted the rest of my armor. So then it was the next day, and I wanted to make some more Neverat armor, so I did. I was now ready to go to the End City, so I gathered all my things from a chest, and then I headed out. Made my way to the Stronghold, so I got to the Stronghold and jumped through the portal, I made myself a way across the bridge. And then I need some ender powers to get through. I built myself a little roof so the enderman's could attack me. Then I realised I built it way too high. Damn! Then after that I killed the enderman and he dropped ender powers. So I made myself a way up. I placed some blocks around so that I was safe so I wouldn't fall off. Then I ender pulled through and I got to the other side. Then I gathered some end stone which I really needed. Luckily there was an end city right next to me, so what I decided to do then was walk to climb up the side of it. Then I broke myself away in, I found myself two wooden chests. So I opened the chests and there was some okay loot in there, and the other chest had some really good loot, like four diamonds, diamond sword, and a pickaxe, which was really good. So then I gathered all that and then headed out. So I gathered up some of this end stone, which I thought looked quite nice. Then after that I looted the rest of the building. Sadly, there was no elytra there, so I had to explore and find another one. So I built myself a bridge to the other side. Luckily, there was enough for end city. Surprisingly, there was two ships. So that means two elytras. So then after that, I killed some shulkers. And after all that, I made myself way up to the ship. As I entered the ship, there was a shulker shooting at me. Luckily, he wasn't a problem. Then I found myself a diamond helmet, which had protection four on it. The other chest had like a load of gold as well. And then there was the elytra. I finally got it. And also, I couldn't forget about the dragon head. So after that, what I decided to do was to fly across the other ship, which made it so much easier. So then I killed the other shulker, which is inside, and I loosened up all the rest of the chest. So then I got the other elytra as well, so I was not going to leave that behind. So I continued my journey by flying. Then I came across another ship, so then I went inside to get all the loot as well. So it was now time to go home. Luckily, there was an exit point really close. So then I jumped back through the portal. I had a lot of loot on me, so what I decided to do was to make a storage room. But first I wanted to get some coal, so I mined some up. It was now time to build the storage room, so I mined out some blocks, so I wanted to make a hallway first. But what I did is I cleared out a big space and I filled it with stone bricks, which I thought looked quite nice. So I added some nether bricks, which I thought looked really cool. Also added some soul lantern lights. And that was the hallway done. Now it was time to build the storage room. So I cleared out enough of big space. I went for the same kind of style. So I filled in the floors with nether bricks and then filled the walls with stone bricks, which I thought looked really cool. And then I filled in the rest of the floor with stone bricks and that was the end of the day. I needed a lot of wood, so I spent the whole day chopping down trees. I made myself a couple stacks of chests, and I also made myself some item frames, so then I could display the items so I know what's what. Then after all that, I placed all the chests in. Luckily, it didn't take me too long to do. So after that, I placed in all the item frames, and I also placed all the items on there, so I could see what's what. Day 110 to day 112. It was now time to find a bastion. I built myself a bridge because this lava it was kind of sketchy, but luckily I had far distance potions on me, so I'd be safe. Then as I was minding through, there it was, a bastion. So I didn't hesitate and made myself a way up. 
As I entered, there was no piglins around. It was empty. I had to be really careful because one wrong move could be game over. And then I was shot by an arrow. For some reason, the piglins went invisible. So then I re-logged and then there was there again. So then I took them all out and gathered up some gold. There was a lot of gold here, which was really good. After a bit of exploring, I found myself a chest. So I made myself a way down to the chest and opened it. So I found myself a pig step disc and there were some other useful things in there like iron. And then I found this other chest which had some chains. So after a bit of exploring, I found another chest which had a lodestone in it, which I thought was pretty rare, so I took that. And then I found a chest with a lot of arrows in it. So I took all those arrows and then headed out. It was now time to find another bastion. So I went exploring and found one. So then I made myself a way up. And as I got to the top, there was lava everywhere. And I had to be really careful because there's a lot of piglins. So what I decided to do was sneak up around the back. And then I decided to shoot the piglins with my arrows. It was now clear, so I jumped down and explored. I had to play it safe, so I snuck around and made sure there was no piglins around. So then I jumped down and found a chest. So I went to go and open it up and it had some okay loot. And then I was spotted by piglins, which was really bad. Luckily, I had my bow on me, so then I shot them with my arrows. As I was running, I looked over the edge. There it was, all the loot and gold. So I know I had to get down there quick. So I jumped down, made sure it was all safe first. Then out of nowhere, I was getting attacked by pigments. Good thing I had my bow on me. And then, pigment jumped right in front of me. Luckily, I was able to push him out of the way. So it looked clear. So then I jumped down and looted all the loot up. Which I found myself a diamond chest plate, which had thorns too. But then I found myself a neverite ingot. So I ended up taking that. And then I mined up all the gold. There was loads of gold here, which is really good. So then it was now time to leave the bastion. So I made myself a way up and then I ran home. So I went through the nether portal and then got home safe. Day 113, I harvested all my crops up. I had grown over time. I really needed a mending book. So I went to the village to get a villager. Luckily, there was a lot of villagers. So I got to the village and found a villager. I wanted to bring the villager back home. Luckily, after a little bit, I finally got him into a boat. So then I realised the boat wouldn't work. So then I had to go home and get a minecart. So I did. And I went back to the village. And then I tried to put him in a minecart. As I broke the boat to get him into a minecart, he ran away. I tried to get him into a minecart, but it wouldn't work. It was really frustrating. I was trying my hardest. And then I accidentally hit the villager. Which was really bad. Finally, after a bit of luck, we finally got into the minecart. It was now time to get the villager to my home. So I placed rails all the way home and then pushed him up a hill as well, which was not fun. So I continued by placing more rails in. We were so close to getting home. So after a bit of time, we finally made it home. I wanted to make the villager his own home. So I thought the storage room would be a good place. So we got the villager into my home. As I was trying to transfer him to a boat, he escaped. So then I continued to push him back home. So this time I made sure to block up all the doors so he couldn't escape. So I got him into a boat, finally. I thought he was in the minecart, so I broke the boat and he wasn't. I finally got him back into a minecart and then he was suffocating in a block. And then finally, I got him into his place. I wanted a mending book. I'll sit there for the next five minutes trying to get a mending book. And then finally I did. I wanted to build a potato and carrot farm, so I did. I needed a lot of carrots and potatoes to trade with the villagers. So I made it the same kind of style as a wheat farm. The only thing that's different is I had some spruce leaves instead. So then I bone milled all the carrots and potatoes up. So then later that day, then I wanted to trade with the villagers. I got myself loads of emeralds that day. So then I headed home. And then as I was going to trade with the villager, he did not have the mending book anymore. I was so fumid. So I had to rinse and repeat all that again. Then finally, after a little while, I got a mending book again. 
So then I put him in the book on my Elytra. So after that, I harvested up my sugarcane farm. I need to get myself an Unbreaking Free book. So then I went home and made myself some more books. Then I went to go enchant a bunch of books. Unfortunately, there was no Unbreaking Free. So I had to get two Unbreaking 2 books and combine them together. So then I put that on my Elytra. So after that, I was so happy. It was now the next day. I wanted to define an ocean temple, but first I needed to make myself some underwater breathing potions. And also, I turned my helmet into a Neverite helmet. Now I had everything prepared to find an ocean temple, so I gathered all my things from the chest. I said goodbye to my pets and headed out. So then I ran across the hills and explored. Luckily, I came across the ocean. After a little while sailing, I finally found an ocean temple. So I made myself a way over. So first, I had my underwater breathing potion. And then I swam down. Luckily, I made it in there safe. I came across some sponge, which is really useful. And then as I turned the corner, there it was, the guardian boss. So I swung my sword and did some damage. The bad thing was, my shield didn't save me. He could still hurt me through the shield. Luckily, he wasn't that strong. Then I defeated the first guardian boss. I knew there was two more around, there it was again. Another one. So then I backed up and tried using my bow, which did a lot of damage. And there, there he was. I took him out, finally. There was only one more left. After a bit of searching, I finally found him. So then I took him out as well. So now I had the ocean monument to myself. Then I left the ocean temple. Luckily, I made it back safe. Got to my boat just in time. So then I sailed to this island and I wanted to sleep. Day 125. I had a great idea. I wanted to build a base around the ocean temple. I needed a lot of sand, literally loads. After traveling for a while, I found one. So I placed down my chests and then gathered some sand. I was so surprised how much sand I actually need. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to place sand all the way around the ocean temple so that I could get rid of the water after. Then I headed back to the ocean temple and started work on the base. I was lying nothing up, make sure it was all level. And then I placed in all the sand, which took me absolutely ages to do. As much as I wanted to complete this, I don't think I had enough time. This took me absolutely ages to do. So what I did is I took a break from it. I'll come back to it and complete it later. So then I headed home. I wanted to make myself a chicken farm, so I went home and made myself one. I dug out a space in the ground and then I used spruce logs, which I thought looked quite nice. As well, I used spruce planks and fences. Then I decorated the area up a bit. I added some stone, some cobblestone and some bushes around. I also added some fences. And then I placed in the carpet so the chickens had a surface to sit on. And now it needed a roof. So I didn't want to use spruce for this. I ended up using oak stairs, which I thought go quite well with this build. So now I need to find chickens. So luckily there was actually chickens right outside my home. So I got some seeds and then I led them back to my chicken farm. And there we go, finally, chickens. So then I just finished up the area by adding some leaves around. And also I flattened up the ground a bit to make it look more natural. And then I looked across my sheep and cow farm needed upgrading. So what I decided to do was add some roofs to them. And then later 
later that day, I harvest up my wheat farm again. So the next day, what I decided to do was harvest all my carrots and potatoes up. And then I went to the village, trade with some villagers. And then I headed home. Day 146. I went to the nether to get some more levels and also got some gold. And then, as I was mining up some quartz, Gus attacked me. He fired a fireball at me, I knocked it back and it hit a pigman. That was a big mistake. And there it was, all the pigmen chasing me. Luckily, after a little bit, they lost me. So then what I decided to do is run home. Luckily, I made it home safe. So then what I decided to do was to get some more mending books. Then I wanted to put those mending books on my armor. It was now time to go to the nether and get weatherheads. So day 149 to day 151, I need to get witherheads. I need a lot of witherheads if I want to take out three withers at once. I need about nine witherheads, so I'll spend the next couple days getting the witherheads. So we finally had enough witherheads, so I made myself a way home. We finally had enough witherheads now to take out the three withers. A few things I wanted to get done first. So what I decided to do later that day, so that I combined in my boots with a pair of diamond boots, so I needed a better way of getting XP. So what I decided to do was make an enderman farm. First, I wanted to make a new nether portal in the nether so it took me straight to the stronghold. So I did that. So I headed back into the nether. So now I was at the right coordinates for the stronghold. So I built my nether portal. Then I forgot the flint and steel. So I ran back to the portal and lit it up. I hopped through and got to the other side. The good thing is I spawned right next to the stronghold, which was really good. So then I made myself a way down to the stronghold. And it was time to build the enderman farm. So then I had to get an endermite, so I threw down the ender pool for the first time, and then luckily an endermite spawned. And then I had to name him, so then I called him Herobrine. So now my farm was complete, I finally had an enderman farm. These farms are amazing, they give you so much XP. I wanted to get a level 100, so I did. So then after that, I headed home. I wanted to enchant a lot of things, so I did. So then I enchanted a book, and then I enchanted my sword. And then I wanted to enchant my bow, so I did. I got myself infinity, unbreaking free, and power four. I could not believe it. So then I got myself a smite four book, and then I combined it with my neverite sword. And I also got myself a flame book, so I picked that on my bow as well. And then I put Unbreaking Free on my Neverite chestplate. I was absolutely stacked. I was ready for the wither. But there was a few more things I had to get done. So then after that, I went to a villager and got some more emeralds. I needed enough amending book to put on my Neverite sword. Then I made myself some potions, which I really needed these. So after that, I went back to the Enderman farm. I needed some more levels. Now I wanted to get Unbreaking 3 on my shield, so I went to the enchantment room and got two Unbreaking 2 books. So then I combined the books together to make an Unbreaking 3 book. So then I put Unbreaking 3 on my shield, and also I needed another mending book. So then I harvested up all the potatoes and carrots. So then I just went back to the village to trade with the villagers again. So then after that, I headed back home. I finally got myself another mending book so that I can put it on my shield. It was now time to find a token of Undyne. So I gathered all my things from the chest and then headed out. So after that I sailed across the seas and then I flew through the skies. And then finally I found one. So I didn't hesitate and I went straight for it. I couldn't find the entrance so what I decided to do was to break through the glass. And as I headed in it was pretty empty. I looked around couldn't see any illagers, and then there, there was an illager. I was ready though. So I swung my sword, set him on fire. There was another one, but luckily I dealt with him as well. 
Then out of nowhere, two others showed up. Luckily, there wasn't a problem either. And there, he was. I know I need to take him out quick, because they could do serious damage. Then I decided to shoot him with my arrows. And there it was, Token of Undying. And then as I headed out, it was another one, so I took him out as well. So I fought off some more pillagers. I was hit by the Zillager's axe. It did some serious damage. And then the Vex, it did some serious damage as well. I had to run. I had to eat a golden apple. So now I finally healed. So then I came across this other villager. So I shot him with my arrows. But unfortunately, the zombie picked it up. So then after that, then I found a secret room. So I went to go and investigate. And on the end of it, there was a chest. So I opened it up, then I found myself a diamond chest plate and a load of gunpowder. I did not need all this stuff in here. But then I came across another chest with a golden apple in it. It was now time to leave the wooden mansion and go home. So I flew back. Then after a while, I finally got home. It was almost time to take it the wither. So I spent the next day getting sugarcane. And also I needed some more apples. So I chopped down a load of trees and got loads of apples. So I ran home, I needed to make some more golden apples. So I made myself some golden apples and I was ready. I was ready to take out the three withers. It was now time. It was now time to take out the three withers. This could be the last sunset I see. So I stood there and just watched the sunset. So I got far from home, away from all the pets and everything. So if I did die, so they would be all safe. I knew this is it. I was ready, I was stacked, I had everything I needed, and I was now ready to take on the three withers. Then I misplaced the last head, which was really bad. I knew I had to finish this now, there was no turning back. So I waited for the withers to charge up, and I was ready. I fired my arrows, and then there it was, the wither charging at me. I had to run. In seconds, I was swarmed by all three of them. I tried my best to shoot the withers the most I could, but I know I had to keep moving. Then I started to realise the withers are regenerating their health. This was terrible. This was getting serious. The withers could.
plan. I led them down into the caves. Then I drank a potion of strength and regeneration. This was it. This is my time to take it the second wither. And there it was, I was hitting the wither. He didn't stand a chance, I was way too strong. I defeated the second wither. We had one wither left. So what I decided to do, to end a pearl out the cave. I wanted to heal up a bit more. Then as I turned around, he was still chasing me. And the worst thing is, it was getting night time, which means mob spawn. And if I got trapped, and then a creeper came, game straight over. So I had to be really careful. So I continued running, and then I found this cave. This was my time to heal. And there he was, waiting outside the cave for me. So I made myself away at the cave, and there he was. I got a few good hits. So I continued running, and then there was all the mobs. I knew I had to get to a safe place if I wanted to continue this fight. And then as I turned around to shoot the arrow, and then I accidentally caught on fire. So I had my last golden apple, and it was now time to defeat the wither. It was now me versus the wither. This was it. And I continued to shoot him with my arrows, but then I got him down to half health, and this is it. This is my time to do serious damage. This was it. This was the end. And then I took my last swing, and there it was. The wither has been defeated. I got home and made myself three beacons. I needed a place for these beacons to go, so I made myself a beacon room. Day 178, I wanted to get myself some new pets. First, I wanted a cat. So I made myself away to the village and found a cat. Luckily, I tamed the cat. I was so happy. As I was heading home, I looked to my left and there was a white horse. I really wanted one. So I went home and got myself a saddle. I found the horse and then I tamed it. And after that, we ran home. So now, I wanted to get some gunpowder. I went out and killed some creepers. Luckily, I had a knockback two sword, which kind of saved me a few times. But then, I was ambushed by loads of zombies and spiders, which was bad. I wanted to make myself some fireworks, so I did. And also, I harvested up my sugarcane, because I needed some more paper, and also found some nice red roses, so I took all those, and then made myself some red and blue fireworks, and then I went to sleep. It was now time to decorate the area up. I was getting everything ready, so what I did is I made a firework launcher and also I placed it on the beacons. But then, something bad happened. As I was getting more resources, a raid happened. I could not believe it. Luckily, I had all the things I needed on me. I rushed outside, I could not see them anywhere. As I looked on the mountains, there they was. All of them. So I placed some blocks down to keep my pets safe. I knew they would not stand a chance against these. I had to fight them myself. And there they was. So I fired my arrows, then I took them out. I knew they came in forms of waves, but I was ready. And then I rushed up to the second one, and swung my sword, and took him out. 
I did the same to the other one as well. So the last one was on the side of the mountain. So I took him out as well. That was wave one over. And then I rushed back to home. As I got home, there they was, loads more. So I proceeded to take them out as well. I was not going to let these villagers take over my base. I did some serious damage. I was way stronger than the villagers. They didn't stand a chance. I took them out easily. And there he was, more of them. I made myself a way up to the mountain and I killed the rest of them. The raids would not stop. I thought it would be over, but I was wrong. So I ran back to my home the quickest I could. And as I got down to my home, there they was already, the illagers. I had to take them out. So I proceeded to head over there, and as I turned the corner, there was loads. The bad thing was, there were so many mobs around. I was ambushed by mobs, I know I had to take them out first if I wanted to get to the illagers. So I took out the remaining mobs, and I had to finish this raid. So I did. Luckily, they was all stuck in the corner, which really helped. Then I went for the sword attack. I rushed in there, all of them got their axes out and hit me. I was quick to run away. I had a golden apple and I charged them. Luckily, that golden apple helped me. So then I took out the last one, and there it was. I finished the raid. I got achievement, hero of the village. Then after that, I removed all the dirt and said hello to my pets. Now, I wanted to build myself a watchtower, so I did. I went with more of a rustic look. I used a lot of cobblestone, stone and stone bricks, which I thought looked really cool and it really blended in with a lot of the builds that I've built. So I added a wooden roof, so I went with spruce stairs for the roof, which I thought that really matched the build. I also added a lot of leaves and lanterns. And then what I decided to do was make myself a sugarcane farm. I really needed one of these farms, so I made one. So I wanted to build it near the farmhouse. I spent the next couple of days working on some redstone. So it was now day 198. I made myself some armor stands so that I could display some armor. So I placed in some iron armor, then I placed in some gold armor, and also I did some leather armor and diamond armor. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough space for netherite armor or chain. And then after that, as I was heading down into the enchantment room, there was an enderman. I wanted to keep him. So then I put him in a minecart, then I made a way for him to get home. Then I pushed him all the way to my home. Then I accidentally looked at him. He was not happy. After a little bit, he chilled out. I needed to find a spot for him, but for now, I just placed him here in the corner. So then, later that day, I was getting all my pets ready. I was all getting ready to watch the fireworks. I had everything ready. I had the fireworks, music, and cake ready. It was all looking good. Everything was all coming to plan. And then, something strange happened. I was checking if the redstone was okay, and then, and then I left. I looked to my left, and there was an illager, which was odd. I was thinking, okay, maybe just one. So then I explored around, and I couldn't see anything. And then, I looked to my right, there was another one. Now I was getting nervous. And as I ran down the hill, I looked to my right. I could not believe it. There was three others. There was all three there, waiting for me. So I took them all out as well. Then I killed the last one with my arrows. Then I could not believe it. There was enough of raid. I was not prepared at all. So I rushed back home to kill my loot. I was panicking. I couldn't believe it. This close to the end, and there was a raid happening already. Then I equipped myself with all my good gear. The bad thing was, all my pets were out there as well. As I turned a the corner, there they was, all waiting for me. I had to end this quick. So I rushed towards them and fought them all. I knew they would be around this corner. So I rushed as quick as I could, and there they was, all around this corner. There was loads, so I fought them all. Luckily, there wasn't much of an issue, and then I rushed back as quick as I could to check on my pets to see if they was okay. So I ran back, and there was all there again. There were so many. I really needed help with this. If I want to get this complete quick, I needed more help. So I went back and got Bandit. I knew he had sharp teeth. I 
As I turned the corner, there they was. They was ready. So me and Bandit, we fought them off. And then, as I turned around, there was two witches. So I knew I had to take them out real quick. Luckily, they didn't throw any potions in time. And then, as I was going to take out this villager, Bandit, he jumped in the way. So I accidentally hit Bandit with my Neverite sword, which was so bad. But luckily, he was okay. I gave him some food, and then we returned to battle. Me and Bandit, we continue to take out more villagers. Which and that was it. Victory. We did it. Me and Bandit. We took out the last remaining fakes. And that was it. We did it. We were so happy. We finally did it. So I gave Bandit a bit of food and it was time to celebrate. We finally did it. So I gathered up the last of the pits and then we headed up. It was ready to watch the sunset and have a firework display. And there it was, 200 days, what a journey this was. We did so much. So what we decided to do, me and Bandit, we went on an adventure. We wanted to get on top of the mountain. We climbed up the mountain together. So me and Bandit, we finally got to the top of the mountain and then we came down to this little ledge. So we stopped there and we just looked at everything that we have built. And that's where our journey ends. 200 days in Minecraft Hardcore Survival.